The film's plot starts with Ben Wills, after a painful breakup with his girlfriend Susie. Art student Ben Willis develops insomnia to take his mind off Susie and to occupy the extra waking hours he has recently gained. Ben begins working at a local Sainsbury's supermarket where he meets colorful co-workers. Among them is his colleague Sharon, with whom he soon develops a mutual crush. As his personal means to escape the boredom inherent in the night shift, Ben lets his imagination run wild. In particular, he imagines that he can stop time so that he can walk around in a world that is frozen like the pause of a film. He imagines female patrons of the supermarket stop in time, allowing him to undress and draw them. Finally, the ability to stop time becomes real. A series of flashbacks occur with each progression of the plot, accompanied by Ben's narration and an examination of the effect the situation had had upon him. He explains how he always has been impressed by the beauty of the female body. How he, as a young boy, witnessed a Swedish boarder walk naked from the shower to her room. In another flashback, the young Ben and his best friend Sean share Sean's discovery of his parents' adult magazines, and Sean pays a neighborhood girl called Natalie 50 pence to show him her vulva. Other neighborhood boys repeat this trade. Ben's boss, Alan Jenkins, recruits the staff for a weekend football game, and after an embarrassing defeat, 26-0, Ben freezes time again. This time he discovers that he is not alone when he sees a mysterious stranger who is able to move inside the frozen world as he can. When Jenkins throws a party to honor his own birthday, and as a consolation for their defeat, Sharon asks Ben to be her date to which he eagerly but nervously agrees. While there, Ben encounters Natalie, who is now a stripper, as well as his ex-girlfriend Susie, who implores him to try their relationship again. Ben refuses her advance, but she kisses him, just as Sharon witnesses from afar. Sharon angrily leaves the party. Ben realizes Sharon has seen the kiss and freezes time. After spending several days frozen, Ben concludes that although he can stop time, he cannot reverse it to correct the mistake. He eventually seeks to explain himself to Sharon at her apartment, and a confrontation similar to the film opening breakup occurs. Sharon henceforth does not show up to work at the supermarket. As a practical joke, colleagues Barry and Matt phone Ben. Matt poses as an art gallery owner who is interested in displaying Ben's drawings and schedules an appointment for Ben to present more to him. When Ben arrives as agreed, the reaction of the owner quickly reveals that he has been pranked. However, the gallery owner is nonetheless interested in Ben's work and decides to exhibit Ben's drawings. Sharon receives an invitation to the exhibition and visits. She is moved as most of the pieces depict her, and she happily greets Ben, congratulating him on his success. The finale occurs as Ben shares his ability to stop time with her, and the two step outside into a time-frozen snowfall. 